All right, guys, so I'm going to be talking about three things that you should have as, like, goals or achievements when you're trying to get better at disc golf. These things are going to be, like, milestones, I guess you could say, for your disc golf journey. By the time you complete these things, you're definitely going to be throwing a lot better. This is more of a general kind of video. Um, I think it's going to help a lot of people out. And you might be thinking when you watch the video that, oh, yeah, like, this kind of makes sense. Like, you know, if I did end up doing that, then I probably would be a little bit better and stuff like that. So I hope it does help some people out there. Uh, it's not really anything specific, not any like form specific stuff. All right, let's starting off at number one. If you want to get better at disc golf, you got to play at least 15 different courses. And the reason for this is that, well, any one person can be good at any one course if they play it like a million times, you know? Anyone can play me for money at Rolling Kills, and I, I'll for sure play them. I don't care if you're Ken Climb, I don't care if you're like Paul Macbeth. I know how to play that course, you know? I'll probably play pretty decent on that course. I'm not really that worried about it. But the reason you should play at least 15 or more courses is when you get to a course you never played before, you can kind of think in your mind, like, what did you throw on a shot that was like similar to this situation? Then you'll get more comfortable and you'll know what to throw once you get to that situation again, once you get to a similar situation. So the more courses you see and more shots you see, the better you'll get at playing a course for the first time, for example. Or just trying to figure out a shot that you didn't know how to do before until you played a different course and someone showed you how to do it or you just tried a different approach and that ended up working and then you applied the same knowledge to a similar shot on a different course. All right, now the second thing you want to do when you're trying to get better at disc golf is that once you start getting pretty good, you know, you can start throwing far, you can start kind of controlling it. You want to have like the most control you can possibly have. So let's say you're throwing like an understable disc, like you want to be able to throw that thing like dead straight at the basket on your drive. Like you don't want to just like throw it way out in the air and then have it flip and get lucky. Like you want to, like unless that's what you're trying to do, like you need to know exactly what you're doing. And this kind of ties into what I was just saying. You need to start clubbing down. So on shots that you don't need a driver on, but you still throw a driver, you want to start throwing a mid-range or even a putter because if you start throwing a mid-range or a putter, those are more likely to just like stop right in their tracks when they hit the ground instead of a driver which could, you know, skip off or might go too far and stuff like that. But once you start getting really good, you're going to start throwing your putter and mid-ranges a lot more on your drives because that will get you a two much more easily than throwing a driver. I mean, unless the hole is really long, of course, you probably want to throw a driver. But I mean, you know, 350 and under, you want to be throwing a mid-range if you can. All right, now my last piece of advice for you guys is go out and play at least five different leagues. Now, I would say at least play 10 competitions. So 10 competitions total means like nine leagues, one tournament. Don't really worry about the tournaments unless you're playing pro because you don't really see that much of a skill difference in the like division. Like in AM2, you're not going to see someone who's like three times better than you. You're going to see someone who's like slightly better than you. And that doesn't really do much for your learning ability. But when you play in leagues and stuff, anyone can play. So you might be not you might not be that good, right? And you might play at a league where everyone's average, but then you go to another league and everyone's throwing like 450 feet. People aren't sinking like 60 foot putts regularly, like consistently. And some of these guys are like top pros in the area and you just start learning a lot from them, like how they throw their drives, how they line up for putts. You know, you might incorporate some of those things into your game and before you know it, you're gonna start learning a lot more. I know from experience, like playing with people who are, you know, the top of the top in my area, I learned how to throw backhand super far because I've seen a lot of people take like two steps throw it like 500 feet plus. I've seen a guy throw 600 feet with a buzz. You know, he's like six foot four, but I mean still, that's pretty insane. You know, I've played with a guy who I consider is the best putter I've ever seen who would, who literally would make every single putt in a game from time to time. You know, things like that. And also kind of tying back into tip number one, seeing these guys play like different kinds of holes, like you can see the kinds of shots they do. Like maybe they do like a hyzer bomb in the sky or something instead of like a straight shot. And then you're like, oh wow, maybe I should try to do something similar to that because of all these trees or something like that. You just start learning a lot more really quickly without even realizing it. All right guys, I hope these three milestones slash tips kind of help you guide your way through the disc golf world. I know it's not anything specific like sidearm or back anything, but I think it is pretty good to keep these things in mind when you're just like, you know, trying to get better over the years and stuff like that. Anyways, guys, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.